Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now today I want to talk about Gitty. It's a self-hosted Git service and I'm going to be showing you how to install it on Docker and I'll be installing it on a Raspberry Pi. Now like most self-hosted services that I self-host myself, I look for a few key things. One, it needs to be pretty much lightweight, uh, especially because I'm running it on my Raspberry Pis. Uh, two, generally it needs to be nice and open source. Uh, most self-hosted things are open source anyway, so that's pretty easy to find that. And yeah, just generally nice and easy to use, right? And Gitty pretty much ticked all those boxes. Uh, I stumbled across it uh, because I was looking for self-hosted Git services that I could run on my Raspberry Pi because I was looking at things like GitLab and, and they're quite heavy, right? They were quite resource hungry. And then I was reading along and as you can see here, it says Gitty has low minimal requirements and can run on an expensive, inexpensive Raspberry Pi. So I was sold, right? Um, so let's have a look around and I'll show you kind of what it looks like uh, because they have a demo on their page and then let's look at installing it. So here you can see on the explore page, uh, it's just like, if you're used to like GitHub and stuff like that, this will look identical, right? Or pretty much identical. You've just got a list of all your repositories. We can click into one. And then within here, you can see all the files. You can see the uh, readme markdown file. Uh, it's pretty much one-to-one -to, -one, uh, to what you're used to. And especially even like just the general navigation on the page if you're used to github honestly it's like you're at home essentially with this so i that's why i thought man this is great uh so yeah without very much further ado let's just get into it eh? let's just start playing around and installing it so over here on their install page um they've got a few different kind of installs so they've got the basic install and this is the one i'll be doing just so i can quickly demo it uh but if you're like me uh which i will end up doing later you can actually add um a database on this as well rather than with the basic install that we'll be doing it has an internal database on the same container um generally as things get bigger you kind of want to have a independent database so here you can see what you just need to add to your docker compose file just these little things here with the plus and if you don't like mysql there's a post sql database here that you can add as well uh, but to keep it nice and simple all i care about is this chunk here right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to ssh into my raspberry pi and then we'll go from there so i've ssh into my raspberry pi and if you've watched my other videos the file structure i have on an external hard drive i make a directory for each one of my containers and then in, in each one of those uh folders or those directories will be the docker compose file and the volume the data volumes or the data folders uh, for my containers so i can easily back them up so this will be no different so what i'm going to do is do make directory and then this one will be gitty right and i'm going to change directory into gitty i'm going to nano uh, and make a docker compose um, and hit enter paste that in that i copied in from the page and now let's just work through this right so what do i want to do and let's walk through this so it's making a service and it's just the server uh because that's what we're making we're not making an independent database or anything like that so that's fine um and all we really want to do is make sure that we change our volumes um where it's pointing to to uh the little folder i made so i'm going it's i'm going to put it here mount gitty and it's going to go here which is fine um i'm going to leave the time zones as they are and then just make a note that the we access gitty on port 3000 and point uh 222 is the ssh server that our gitty will be running so if you're familiar with git you can either download the git repositories over http yes uh which you would then use your username and password uh, to authenticate so you could download from that repository otherwise um i can use ssh and since my raspberry pi already has an ssh service running you can't bind it on port 22 so what we're doing is we're binding it on port 222 okay so that's all that's doing um so that's pretty much all i'm going to change it's all pretty much good from here so let's save this and hit uh, close and let's clear this now what we're doing in this folder is that i was just on ls to show you so all we've got in here is that docker compose file so now the command we run is just sudo docker hyphen compose right and then we just go up hyphen d now let me just quickly explain this command i explain it in pretty much every video but i'll explain it again so the command docker compose is saying that there's a, a, a docker compose yaml file in this directory and we would like to build using the instructions that are found in that file up means bring it up right because um if we went down it would just say delete everything that you find in the docker compose file up means create everything hyphen d means run in detached mode so what detached mode is is that if i didn't have the hyphen d it means that i would see all the build logs and everything on the screen right now but if i were to close the session the container would stop 
and we don't want that we want the container to continue running even after we close our session so that's why we use hyphen d and all i have to do now is hit enter you can see it's creating gitty done so now we should essentially have a gitty service up and running so we again we access this on port 3000 but if i do an ls i should probably see a new folder in here too yep so you can see now i actually have the gitty folder and that will contain all the data so if i just quickly change into there and do an ls there you go so we know our gitter instance is now running so let's try and connect to it right so now all i have to do is hit enter uh and let's hope for the best boom there we are we are now on the initial configuration page so i'm going to leave the database type as an sql Lite 3 because i'm just running it internally um so that's fine and i'll leave that as default now here you can change the site title to anything you like again i'm just going to leave it as default uh repository root path where you want your repository stuff again i'm going to leave it as default because i am just running this on the docker container it's all mapped on my host correctly so i'm not going to change any of that again i'm not going to change any of this run as uh username i'm going to leave it as git now the ssh server domain now since local host would resolve as my actual desktop's local host this wouldn't work right what we're going to get is we're going to get issues if we leave this as local host so we have to change this to the ip address of our raspberry pi so that's the ip address of my raspberry pi this will stop it from after this it will try resolve like local host on port 3000 and my desktop's not running this right my raspberry pi is so that's why we have to hard code the ip address here now remember the ssh server port is not 22 it's 222 like 222 yeah and that's how this would work it is running on port 3000 so that's fine that is not correct so we need to change that to the ip address of my raspberry pi and there we go so that's fine and now we should be okay now again if you do not change that local host variable uh sorry that name to the actual ip address of your server or the host name if you're hosting this uh, with you know with a domain record and you're hosting this on the internet make sure you change that now we can hit install gitty see now you can see I don't know if you've quickly seen that but where it said 192.168 if you had made that local host it would try to resolve um, the server running on your on the computer you're on right there and it would not work right so uh, I can't sign in because I don't have a an account so what I'm gonna do is just register let's make one we'll call this tech Docs email address uh, this one here and let's make a super strong password right i've got my password in hit register account just like that we are now in so now let's test this right so what we're going to do is let's make a repository uh let's call this um super duper code how boring i won't worry about any of this stuff i'll initialize it with a readme and let's create repository now again as you can see here see let me zoom in a little bit more see here how it's got git at 192.168.1.121 on 222 if we didn't change those variables back in the install this would be localhost and everything and it just wouldn't work right so that's why we changed all that so now if i try just quickly if i try clone this repository let me open up my server so now if i try git clone this repository you see that i don't have the rights to connect to it right do you see this please make sure you have the correct access rights so what we need to do is actually put our ssh key into um gitty and then we should have the permissions to do it and if you're used to github honestly it's the same process so let's just do it so let's do a cat.ssh.id.pub grab my public key this isn't secret and let's go up here and then go in the settings and we come down to ssh we can add our ssh key paste that in add the key now go back to our server and now let's try that command again i just changed uh terminal from rather than my raspberry pi i'm just going to use my local desktop to do this uh just because uh i already have git configured on there so let's do a git clone of that and let's do that yes and we've downloaded it and now what i'm going to do is change directory into the super duper code right i'm going to make a file so let's just do a touch um and let's just do a test.markdown uh we'll add those changes we'll commit those changes and let's push them right and now if we come back to here and if we hit refresh there's our new file so we have an eternal source control um that we can run right and it's that easy and it's just yeah it was that easy to configure so I hope you enjoyed the video i'm going to have as much information as i can in the description for all of this um, if you're interested in git and the commands and stuff that you've seen in here i have a video and i'll link it in the corner somewhere um, if you want to watch that if you're curious on how to use all the git commands i just ran um, but anyway 
thank you so much for watching the video and i will see you in the next one bye